Okay, um, and there's a feature in the old version of Blender 2.49b that I kind of like to make a reappearance in the, the later version 2.5. Uh, this is the MDD Import Export Modifier. Now, the reason that is, is there's a, it basically works as a, a useful workaround for a certain uh, problem. That problem is, is uh, converting cloth simulation into editable shape clips for further uh, manipulation. Now, for instance, uh, if you were uh, working on a game and you wanted to have some, say, cloth curtains blowing in the wind, flags uh, scattered all over the place, and you just wanted uh, all the animations to be pre uh, calculated, uh, what would be ideal would be to actually take the baked animation from the uh, from Blender's cloth simulator and then turn those into clips. Now there isn't uh, initially that seemed difficult, but it is very easy because of the export import uh, feature. Now just to show you what I'm getting at, here is a we've got a model of a flag, and it has the uh, cloth simulation baked in already. Scrubbing the timeline, and what I have done is I have gone over to the export vertex keyframe animation MDD and what it does is it exports all the uh, mesh shape animation of the mesh into a single file which you just save and then find and then you create a duplicate of that same mesh just to uh, show you the before and after I mean this is one of the neat things is that you can duplicate as many of the uh, original meshes and as long as it's the exact same topology that animation will transfer onto mo those multiple instances just make sure that you do the uh, clear apply rotation uh, each time because there, there seems to be a slight buggy issue with the the object center as you can see here it's, I can't quite conquer it but it doesn't make the whole thing impractical so I go to import, load MDD mesh RVKs, and they and if I just go into the IPO curve editor, you can see that we have uh, shape curves here. And what you do is you make sure that you click the action icon here so that you can use it as action clips and I have already converted these into clips and I've moved them further down in the timeline so as I scrub over you can see the original simulation is finished I cannot move that up and down the timeline but these are clips I can do it now and I can duplicate them and I could probably cut them and slice them and probably maybe even play them in reverse uh, that might be pushing it but uh, I haven't explored that yet uh, but if I just make uh, my point here I press P because it is now a shape action clip I can now rig it to play when I press a button so pressing the button and voila in the game engine pre-calculated flawless cloth simulation animation Yay. Yeah.